Oh my God. You got your phone? Grab oh, we your gotta phone. go, gotta go. Okay, so Karen app on the right, my app on the left here. It's getting away from us. It is, we gotta call the FAA. We gotta call the FAA right now. <laughs> Hello friends. You remember our pal drone tag. It's the remote ID device that has been approved by the FAA that no one will use. How true. <laughs> and some people will use it, but mostly professionals who have a drone that won't be grandfathered in when remote ID starts. When does remote ID start? September 2023. So don't worry about it now. You can get everybody a drone for Christmas. And don't worry about it. But right now we want to see how far this Bluetooth 5, which is different than the Bluetooth you have Normally, Bluetooth 5, how does it work? Most devices operate under Bluetooth 4, which is your headphones, your devices interconnecting. Bluetooth 5 is a low energy transmission system designed for penetrating further in distances. And we all want better penetration, don't we? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. We're on top of this little hilly mountain thing in very rural Tennessee, because we're going to send this up tethered. Tethered. There are actually balloon rules with the FAA and we can go up to 150 feet with no problem as long as it's tethered and then we're going to drive away from it. It will simulate it being on a drone because we can't do a range test with it on a drone because yeah. it'd be easier and more fun this way because we have balloons. All right, we got balloon cam up there. Hello balloon cam. We've got an Apple tag on the backside here because uh, this may go out of range and we may not be able to find it. Imagine losing a GPS tracker. <laughs> so remote ID is coming. Nothing we can do about that. How long it'll last, I don't know. I always say a month or two before everybody just doesn't do it. I, I don't see it getting too far. Yeah, regardless, this drone tag is a very good tracker. It updates every millisecond. Every, every millisecond. 30 milliseconds. Right, so we can even see how it goes in the wind. We've got the drone tag app here. And I got the Karen app. It's got the Karen app, so then we're, we're gonna hop in the car and uh, we're gonna see how far away we can, we can go. All right, so we got this uh, fishing line, high strength, so that's good. All right, so let go. You ready? Uh, yeah, let go. Okay, I don't right. have it. All right, so let me know on the app how high I am. All right, let me know how high I am. Showing 1.5 meters, 1 .5. two meters, two That's five, it. three. All right, I'm gonna let. Oh, what shit. the hell? Oh, 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 oh shit, man! You you don't have it? Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let it. Don't let the drone go into it. We gotta go. We gotta track it. Come on, guys. Shit. Go. Wait. We gotta get in the car. Land your drone, man. Hold on, I gotta throw all this. Oh my God. You got your phone? Grab oh, your we phone. We gotta go, gotta go. Oh. It's not going that fast. We can catch up to it. Okay, so Karen app on the right, my app on the left here. It's getting away from us. It is, we gotta call the FAA. We gotta call the FAA right now. The nearest towered airport? That'd be B&A. B&A? How far away are we from the airport? We are about 80 miles from the airport. Oh, well, we should let people know, because right now it's at uh, 256 feet. Welcome to the Nashville International Airport. Our address is one uh, terminal drive. Are you serious? For lost and found, press four. Zero. Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh, we'll call from the car. Let's go. I still see it. Can you uh, navigate our way over there? At the end of the drive, take a left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. But it's going kind of to the right. Well, you see, if we take a left, we're going that way. It's going to the yeah, right. Yeah, we'll this zoom way. out and see if. Uh, okay. I lost it, Karen. You lost it on the Karen? I lost it on the Karen, yeah. All right. Well, we still got it on this. It's, I think we got to turn right out of here. What's ev elevation? It's showing me height of 570 meters. Oh, Holy gosh. God. Uh, Keith? Yeah. Do you have the FAA on the line? I got voicemail. This is an FAA emergency! <laughs> oh, my God. Don't, 
don't bother. What? The road dead ends. No, we don't have it. It's not showing any Bluetooth connection. But you have it on the Karen app? I don't think I do. I think I'm showing the last position. Okay, so it's got, a, it's got, it says it has, it says it has 13 satellites. But it don't have Bluetooth. Oh yeah, the Bluetooth, yeah. <laughs> Check the uh, Apple tag. I have zero bars. I got nothing. <laughs> Oh, there's a bar around here that we can find. <laughs> <laughs> Am I sad that I'm gonna lose the little drone tag and uh, your Insta360? Yeah, a little bit. I really want to find it. Really, really want to find it. How come this isn't reacquiring? Where were we when we originally started? We were over here by Liberty. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So it's going there. We, we've made. We, we've really okay okay what do you say we go to Gainesboro Ken? saying we Let's keep following northeast and see if maybe we can reacquire it at some point is it was that the general direction it was going yeah. yeah and we'll go to Gainesboro and then uh if we don't find it then we'll get some hamburgers and hope the balloons pop and then we can pick it up on your air tag there you go airport can we get Christina Yes, hi Christina. Uh, my name is Keith Davis and I called a little while ago about having an incident with a tethered balloon. Party balloons. Not manned balloon. Okay. And uh, our tether broke and it was heading in a northeasternly pattern. I spoke with a gentleman but we had bad cellular service and I lost him. And we're just calling uh -huh. to let you guys know what, what, what went down. It's probably in space by now. <laughs> it, oh, okay. I will let him know. Right. Do, you, do you still track aircraft in space? Do we know? No. We're airport police. You hand towers doing the other people, but not us. Okay, so you hand it off to Space Force. <laughs> sure. Okay. So here's the update. Uh, still no telemetry from the drone tag or the air tag. Nope. And I just had a horrible thought. What if it lands in a prison yard? That would be bad. <laughs> it would be bad. Anyway, last we knew, head into Kentucky. And that was going to be the end of the video until an amazing turn of events occurred an hour later. I was driving home, I was about an hour away, when I got an alert from drone tag saying that my battery was low. I just couldn't believe this, so I pulled over and checked, and it had reacquired telemetry. I clicked on the thing, and it showed me exactly where it landed. The battery was about a 27%, but it was still giving live telemetry, so I could see what it was doing. And it looked like it was skittering around on the ground, because the elevation said it was zero. But what I didn't know was that it was actually caught in a tree about 60 feet off the ground. This is Google Earth telemetry sent to us by drone tag themselves. Thank you very much, Lucas. Here's the starting point where we were, and here's where the drone tag and the balloons eventually landed. This is a straight line. Drone tag tells us that the balloons actually did go over the state line into Kentucky and then back into Tennessee. So it traveled over a hundred miles. As you can see, it gives the elevation and movement updated every millisecond and it's very detailed. So. Clearly you can see that it was stuck in a tree, but I didn't know this when I called Keith all excited and told him that it landed and he should go get it. It was cold, it was dark, he was tired, but he did it anyway. Keith, you're my hero. I've been wandering the woods now for about an hour. Uh, according to the app, I was standing on top of the drone tag at least four or five times. Uh, very dark, lots of leaves. I, I just, I don't see it anywhere. So Keith marked the place where he last looked and he and Barkley were gonna go back in the daylight and see what's what. All right, so here we are. I'm in the woods, I'm acting as VO. Barkley's going to attempt to cut the- There was a lot going on in the woods that day so he didn't remember about the GoPro battery. What he was gonna say is Barkley is gonna fly his POS up and try to cut the string holding the stick with the propeller. Okay, cluster's moving, you're hitting balloons, you're hitting balloons. You pop one, you pop one. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Drone is down, drone is down. We have one broken prop, otherwise drone appears to be intact. That's good. That didn't work out so well, so Keith thought he'd shoot his crossbow up at it.
Yeah, he brought a crossbow. Do you see it? It went about 15 feet. <laughs> the crossbow didn't work, obviously, so the only recourse left is to chop down the tree. There it goes! There it goes! Timber! Oh, you're dead at me! So the first tree falls into another tree. What do you do? Well, you chop down that tree as well. So in the end, we did get the drone tag module back. I lost an Insta360 camera. Barkley and Keith got a good cardio workout. But we did all this to prove a point. What's that point, Keith? That we're gonna lose this drone tag? Yep. Probably, yeah. Now, the point is that remote ID is coming, but you don't have to be afraid of it. If you want to comply with your older devices, you can put something like drone tag on your drones if you're a professional and you need to do so. The rest of us will have this remote ID hardware built into our newer drones. So there's 50 balloons in the cop car and uh, I don't want to pop any, but I want to show you what we had to do to make this happen. Cause the big Mylar balloons, well, they, they suck. We didn't do any uh, math to figure out how much pull these things have or how many we actually need. We just guesstimated. Barkley, your thoughts? He has none, good. Well, we got a full tank of gas. Half pack cigarettes. We're wearing sunglasses. It's getting dark. <laughs> and we're on a mission from God. Is there somebody coming? Side by side was just there. Well, they saw the cop car and they're like, it's Looks cool, like put the balloon off. in the car. <laughs> we got a stuffed animal on top of the fucking. <laughs> we thought somebody was coming. We're like, Keith's standing there next to the cop car with a balloon. <laughs> oh, no, nothing suspicious here. <laughs> There's some dude over 50 with a balloon on your property. I am not over 50. <laughs> you sure look it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not? <laughs> what? Had me fooled. Oh, <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, my hair ain't even gray yet, you guys. Really, you come really on. Beard. You really need to moisturize. <laughs> it's salt and pepper. <laughs>